a look as we were heading into Leamington to get our supplies there were some tree surgeons taking down some very large trees which had proven to be dangerous during the storm that just blew through and they said that I want some wood now after careful consideration realizing what it was they were asking me I said yes and they said pop back the following day take as much wood as you like so we did and they even lent us the wheelbarrow I didn't film any of it because I was kind of in a hurry to sort of uh, take advantage of their kind offer without faffing around and I didn't want to film them either so we've carted as much wood as humanly possible onto Badger and then today I'm gonna to have to um, saw it down and chop it down to prepare it for drying so we can use it in the future and that's going to require a lot of coffee so this morning I'm gonna Walter White breaking Badger style my coffee and uh, yeah get busy with it day one I'm hoping tomorrow I can continue um, and the weather stays the same because the day afterwards we want to move towards uh, basket in preparation for it being reopened but now I've started with this I want to continue and get it finished <laughs> We'd been led to believe that this set of locks was going to be closed until the 18th. And then there was some in information online that contradicted that. I rang up, wasn't completely happy with the sort of confidence that I was getting from the person on the phone. Came up here to look myself last night, which was a four mile walk, but there was a pub at the end of it, and all the locks were not padlocked. And then just to double check, as three uh, Canal and River Trust workboats came past this morning and they'd been through here. I asked them, um, is it okay to come through? And they said yes. So we're going to come through a few days earlier than we planned. Um, so we should be on course for our Christmas rendezvous with Kevin. Happy days. There's a bottle of single malt whiskey there waiting for me. Right, we're halfway up the flight. Nice and easy does it. Uh, fresh, beautiful morning. It's not that cold. And I reckon we'll make good time. And we're two days ahead of schedule. This is awesome. And I've got loads of wood. Loads of wood.
All right, well we made it to where we wanted to be. The temperature nosedived though, the mist rolled in, it got really, really cold, but the boat thankfully is, these days, um, thanks to Elliot installing the stove, is really toasty warm. I mean, there really is only two temperatures on the boat. There's underpants or overcoat, nothing in between. I guess you could wear your underpants and overcoat at the same time, but that'd be a bit, a bit of a strange look. Now, tomorrow we're going to continue to head towards our sort of short-term destination because we're going to have the boat looked after for a few days and for the first time since we've been in the country we will be spending a little time off the boat and having Christmas at a friend of ours Kevin's house in Devon which will be very different for us uh, number one I don't really celebrate Christmas very often and number two we've not been off the boat since we arrived back in the UK so yeah, it'll be a nice change, and we'll be playing Argy Bargy, courtesy of Tim and Sam, um, over Christmas, so that should be quite a hoot. Yeah, so I'm looking forward to all of that, and I'm with two days ahead of schedule. I'm a little tired from chopping all the wood, but that's good because it's a nice bonus for the future when it's dried out. So that's all good. Now, I'll have a drink. And uh, talking of booze, um, I'd like to thank uh, Pete and Caroline. Uh, very, very nice of you to, when we breezed through Braunston, to come and meet us and then give us a little, un very surprising gift. You remembered my favourite drink, Pete, nice one. And uh, some mulled wine. Camille all took into that. And the cake was beautiful, so thanks very much. I mean, people quite often ask me why I even make the videos. and. I like the process of making the videos. For me, it's fun and it gives me a chance to share with the people that I know I've worked with and uh, met around the world um, this little phase of our, our lives and our adventure. So primarily I make it because I enjoy making them and then I can share them with friends and family. But I also have got to meet a few people I otherwise probably wouldn't have met through making them. Uh, Tim and Sam from the Chugging Along uh, channel. I wouldn't have met them if I wasn't messaging them when I was in Asia before we came back to the UK. And another strange link um, is Pete and Caroline who we both found out that we lived in the same small town in Texas at different times of our lives. So we were watching Tim and Sam while we were preparing to get our narrow boat and return to the UK and um, Pete and Caroline were watching us while they were preparing to come back to the UK to live on their narrow boat. So if ever there was a re reason to continue making these uh, videos, I don't need another one. Uh, meeting uh, those four people has been, it's been enough. So yeah, well, hopefully I'll meet more. But anyway, thanks guys. Um, I'm gonna get something to eat, tuck in for the night, and then continue our journey tomorrow. So I'll see you next time.